The sounds of celebration heard in the Anza Vista neighborhood Saturday are quite a contrast to what happened on these streets more than 600 days ago. Like so many of us, I will never forget January 8th, 2021, when a video showed up on my social media feed of a brutal attack on an Asian man in broad daylight. Video I broke then showed 84-year-old Visha Ratnapati senselessly shoved to the ground and killed. The incident left his daughter Montanus heartbroken and caused such an uproar, many believe it sparked a national movement to end AAPI hate. Montanus and her family grieved and then immediately turned their tragedy into mission to give voice to so many voiceless in our community. What do we want? Justice! Justice. We have followed Montanus as her grief transformed into action. Her voice led to numerous rallies nationwide. It inspired nonprofit groups to speak out to take a stand against crimes targeting Asian Americans. <laughs> Civilians banded together to raise money for safety equipment. Legal groups also called for change in how hate crimes are categorized and called to action the need for victims to be properly communicated with. Saturday, as local leaders and activists gathered, Thai monks chanted and the crowd cheered as Sonora Lane became Visha Ratnapakti Way, a small reminder of the triumph, a symbol of the work done so far and the long road ahead in stopping AAPI hate. And no one deserves to live in fear, even the outer Asian people. Today, I see the young generation, and I'm so proud to see young people to standing with us, and I see young courage. We must all work together to stop Asian hate. Father, we miss you every day. Now, the DA's office tells me the suspect in Visha Ratnapakti's death, Antoine Watson, is awaiting pretrial conference set for next week.